Hello. Hello, Rumi. How are you? We we'll carry on uh, exactly where we left off yesterday. I have done nothing to it, so this is uh, where we find out what we do next, I guess. Now what? All right, let's talk to him. Hello. Uh, looks like our lake journey's complete. Okay, well, he doesn't say anything. Look, tough recipes to use your... what? See, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> uh, it seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the shrouded ruins. Uh, I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. <coughs> A Chinese spice. Oh, did you find any interesting recipes? The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're somehow we're to somehow bring the together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth. Then maybe we need a setting such as this. Uh, that being said, what are we meant to do now? No, oh, it seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right. <laughs> With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Uh, right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know, oh dear. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Uh... Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Uh, what? Oh! Ah, oh, the Pokemon of the lakes. You received the red chain. Well, that was easy. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. What? You've succeeded once again. <laughs> yep, things do not seem to be going well, going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginghu Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Kona himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our pal has managed to get the red chain now, does he? Uh, that's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his. Maybe she's part of a third platinum plan. <laughs> oh. 
Oh wait, I'll miss you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. You don't sound so sure. Uh, wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Uh, okay. I thought I was banished. <laughs> Dear Pat, Professor, I know you've been worried about <laughs> There's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Do not mock him. <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore it. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're going to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems our hands are more than full now that Amanda Camado's gone. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. Uh, and since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security console. <laughs> well, we won't... We aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. We don't set traps for trumpets. <laughs> Although that would be funny, I would like to see that. You managed not to die just as I ordered. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. No. You explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool said to bind the very well. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. Uh, the commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. Uh, they were to make for the temple at the peak. Uh, the boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without being stopped. Uh, as a captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Okay. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Yay! Are you sure, Captain, the boss isn't around to approve that? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, and he should not have left me in charge here. She makes a good point. <laughs> and I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we're members of this survey. But what's he gonna do? Naturally... No one suggested you should not. <laughs> okay, head to Mount Coronet's peak. We can do that. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm right. And you are... 
Okay, you'll power nice to meet you. What is it in cup? It seems the Paro sends you a strong aura too. You're willing to battle us because you come to the training house. I mean, I'm a bit busy at the moment. <laughs> and I will fight you afterwards. Different trader. It's um oh I think it's Riley, I think is his name. Um you get uh, you you meet in uh, is it Iron Islands? Yeah. Sure, I'm ready for this fight. Wait, uh, oh, we don't need that. So it all connects, yeah. Everything, it's actually really, really clever the way they've done it. Uh, might be useful. Uh, press the right button, it would help. Uh, I can't see anything else. So let's try see if we can do some crafting. I wish one of these merchants sold iron, because it's such a pain to get. Do you sell it? Hey, lady. Nope. What about you? Uh, no you don't. But you sell... Sort of stuff. Uh, let's get a few more of these. How many revives do I have? Twelve? That would be enough. Probably get another six just in case. Okay. Uh, head out. Uh, there you are, Palo. Here it is, already, already headed to Mount Coronet. Oh, things looking here. The commander is already at Mount Coronet. He's, or he's already started up the mountain. You must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Um, not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right then. Guess I'm going after him. Well, then off you go. Bye bye. Uh, let me go first, Palo. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. Okay, bye. <laughs> Who is the reckless one? <laughs> it's a tiny child. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all. Uh, that's right, Palo worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right, and she did a fine job too. Oh, whatever. Uh, the survey corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. 
thanks. Here, take this. What is it? What do you give me? A max revive. Oh, that's going to be useful. Uh, your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinner. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here alive. Aww, she takes the fun out of everything. Uh, I've heard the latest. So you've been accepted back into team Gal into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. He's up to something. Super sus. <laughs> uh, it looks like the big moment is upon us at last. No doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Arita have headed to the peak as well. Okay. Uh, my good friend Palo, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. I'd rather buy anything from you. Uh, it seems Kamada intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Game has given you a bunch of free max level items. And you know it's about to go down. Yeah. So here you have all this high level stuff. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Uh, well, if anything goes wrong, Great Melee will be here for moral support at least. Uh, let's see. I think I may go through my author list and see who I've got a decent level. Maybe not that many. Level fifty five magic. It's an alpha. It's Hmm. No, we'll just leave it. I was going to say we could run off and uh, level it up, but... Oh, sorry. Alpha, yes. I think everything has a chance of becoming a... Alpha. Oh, my goodness, look at the size of that thing. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> Choose life. Does that mean it'll be an Alpha Gyarados if you evolve it? Yes. Which is why I have an Alpha Crobat. I don't know how long it would take to get an Alpha Dex. Hmm, I may try that. Uh, still alive and kicking. Uh, just about. Sorry about having to shuttle the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato <laughs> monkey. 
But that taskmaster Kamado has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. What the heck? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the goodly deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools of my dream of getting him in one of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now too. You've seen my smoke ones before. Alright, well, this is how you're meant to eat. Uh, when I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after all, one after another, uh, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot, my heart pound? What the heck is going on? One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years? Uh, what? Oh. Okay. How ridiculous would an alpha waylord be? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's um, there's a wild waylord on the sword and shield expansion packs, like just out in the wild, and it's massive. So I can't imagine an alpha one. That's not good. <laughs> uh. Don't be one of those idiots. Alright, uh, let's... No, not items. What do we got that's super effective? Iron. Iron? Right. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Strong style iron tail, I guess. Say, uh, I can't remember. Fighting something. All oh, right. Okay. It's not dead. <laughs> and I think he gets two hits. No, he doesn't. Only one. Okay. Yeah. Take that, stupid ninja. Oh, 
Very good, young one. Very good indeed. <laughs> it's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. Are you going to let me go past? And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. <laughs> At least with a skill you show in public. Listen well, pal. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by modern Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. Uh, but to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme act. Uh, if hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamano might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamano from himself by force if he must. Uh, do that and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato monkey than a human stomach and <laughs> Sounds like a threat. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, heal everyone. Oh, they're healed. Okay, I was gonna heal them. Never mind. Grab that. What I miss? Um, not that much so far. Just a fight with stupid weird ninja guy. Since when is Moki guy a ninja? Right, yeah, that's. yeah. That was my thought as well. Someone has gone a little nuts here. Oh, he's here. Ooh, he sells options. I may have to get a few of those. Uh, let's see if I can sell him some crap. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Uh... What have I got that I can sell you? <laughs> Literally nothing. Oh, that sucks. Alright, never mind. Is this Volo or whatever guy turned out to be Team Ray? <laughs> yeah, well, not yet, no. <laughs> uh, you've brought the red chain. Yes, I have. Hello, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. A uh, Pokemon that's just apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. And you listened? Okay. Didn't know regular Waylords were in this game. They're not. They're not. There's no Waylord. Yep, that armor's gonna stop it. Oh, again. Grateful fella, isn't he? Uh, I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Yes, do it! Do you think even the red train is some trick on Paladin's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the trials, set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If she somehow concocted all of that on her own, then what hope do we have anyway? <laughs> That's you, all right. If I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? So you're just going to just trust me? Okay. Uh, then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Brave. No, fine enough. Uh, let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is 
stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon. <laughs> oh no. What do you think he's gonna have then? Okay, he's only got four. Okay. Oh, great. Hang on. They're all so scared of Pokemon. Why do they all have them? It's no sense. Strong against... Really? Okay. It's Psyduck. That'd be funny. Get the feeling that I'm underleveled. <laughs> I was close, it was a bird. Oh, Snorlax. Uh, well, we're all gonna die. No, we're not. Uh, somebody has a fighting move. You. Go, bunny that Travis hates. <laughs> it's the woo rabbit. <laughs> Golem. One of those, but mine's shiny. Mine's better than yours. Ah. Uh. I do like Lock Manino. I think it's it's one of my favourites. Let's see if I have anything more effective. We <laughs> played through Name the Love Honey after Travis. Can I wait for the playthrough of Pokemon unnamed by Palau as subscribed? Yeah, I need to decide which one I'm gonna do that with. I do like the idea. I just need to figure out what game to do it on. When I'd have expected the expected Captain Mustache to have a cliff fable. It is a bit girly for him. Really? Oh, okay. Just don't be a max potion idiot. Way to avoid gender stereotypes. this. Haha, I won. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yes, your cliff fairy was terrifying. <laughs> uh, what? 
the fates have decided I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. If I'm gonna kick his backside while he's down, that'd be funny. Uh, I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in history. I mean, it's all waffling, I will. <laughs> Don't worry, Commander, we've got the red chain. Did everyone get healed? Everyone got healed, okay. <sighs> it's weird here and cleaver. And oh, I see. It's all the uh, the big ones that you have to, f the main ones that you have to fight off or catch or whatever. What is that? Oh, it's the Voltorb. Okay. Interesting. Wait. Hang on, weren't they? Okay. So is this Pokemon going to be Dialga, Palkia, or Arceus? I don't know. I purposely avoided endgame spoilers, so I don't know. <laughs> it's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. Something's talking inside my head. Okay... You hold the red chain, try to catch me then, human. And what are you saying? What do you mean, catch? <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Uh, it's telling me, you hold the red chain, try to catch me then, for the fight to come. What? Take these. Master balls? Oh. Aww. <laughs> Gas Giratina. Maybe. So this isn't the ultimate fight with the penultimate. Uh Ah, uh, look who it is. It's, uh, uh, see, whatever that thing's called. Dialga. Here, have a new collar. Oh, he broke the chain. That was naughty. And now he's mad. Okay. I wonder if that had been Palky if he chose Arena. Yeah. I was wondering that as well. Do we just throw an Ultra Ball and hope for the best? Oh, if so much. If this actually catches it first try. It's not the noise you were expecting. What were you expecting? It, oh. <laughs> then, that was, um, <laughs> anti Yeah, I didn't even fight. <laughs> the red chain was shattered. We know the Pokemon of the lakes are thanks for getting us this fun. All that build up and you just throw a little ball at it. Oh, never mind. I was watching the whole time as you battled and fought your way to <laughs> stunning. That was not stunning victory. I don't know what that was. It's all because she had me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Uh, 
Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinner. No, it's called Dialga? Mighty Demog is speaking to me. Oh no. What, from his Pokeball? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, Jummy. <laughs> yeah. Space time is torn. Awful power spills. This frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me? You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed a bit. No way, we... yeah. no way even Palo could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one. Now, yeah, because it was so hard. <laughs> this has got to be Palfia. It has to be, yeah. Do we, do we actually try and fight this one, or do we just throw the ball again? All of you, we must vacate this. Uh, forget the fancy talk bucket. Come on. We're gonna make it back to the summit camp while we still can. Uh, we need to leave before this almighty dis this other almighty sinner decides it wants to fight us. We can't just leave it here. You dumped, you won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm telling you, what a gate, come on. <laughs> I wonder if we're supposed to use, uh, what's it, thingy that we caught? Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before. Or did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? He wants to simply throw Pokeballs, yeah. One of them's bound to catch it. Uh, it seems likely that a build-up of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really are two almighties, you know, after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart <laughs> to both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your truth. <laughs> and to you... I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. It wasn't that bad. And despite all that, you still strove to save all from Sui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. Uh, and we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Uh, Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. Uh, and that stuff, Mr. Professor, you'd rather face what's in front of us than go on the path. Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. That was hilarious. We're almost at the same spot again. Did you throw one ball at your Pokemon and it caught it? That was so anti <laughs> Seems that having Palo about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here. We'd have had no chance getting through this disaster without you. 
Why, you're all capable of throwing a ball. No, two. Oh, never mind. Uh, we're still not through it. How is she to keep fighting the red chain of shattered? Uh, relax, I've got a plan? Thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you. Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's beginning. The Chain of... The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple, so I do have to take it. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The, the pieces, anyway. I did collect them. <laughs> and the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about the stone of creation's beginning? Uh... Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. And one step ahead? Oh. Uh, is that so? Then what and Leon will be a fine resort to resource to consult. What are your thoughts, Professor Langton? Do you have any idea on what this stone could be? On my word, perhaps I do. Oh my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdy and the others? The ones Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Are you going to make a master ball using the pieces of the red chain? Uh, I've no idea. Uh, just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate, it says, when the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need? How do you mean? Uh, we must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. As he said, he'd been investigating it at Follows Urchi. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. Uh, it's us. <laughs> it's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful. When you say... I propose we call it Origin or Hmm. Uh, Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Uh, of course, I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. How's she going to call him? Is she just literally going to stand on top of the mountain and shout at him? <laughs> I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honour you all with unsolicited visit, be glad and rejoice. Do we have to? Uh, now, Adam and I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be heading on with, but what if the great melee? Where's my role in this? We get to watch the pillars. I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect with you. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adamant, and make it a good one. You can go and polish those pillars. That's your job. Make them nice and shiny. Melly is annoying. Yeah, he's so full of himself. You want a job? <laughs> your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Ooh. <laughs> Adam, man, you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. Uh, oh, before I forget, it seems you went entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. 
Well done, you. Uh, take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. You're all so little compared to me. Can I squash him with my golem? <laughs> Pick all the glass out of this camp and put it somewhere else. <laughs> I've brought Liam. She did just shout him from the top of the mountain. <laughs> that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Ugh. Isui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. You tell him. You have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of ease. <laughs> Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. <laughs> Shall we prove it to you now? Oh, that's a fight I want to see. Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. <laughs> Sounds like a whiny child. Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh, or Mighty Dialga, or whatever. This is a Diamond Clan's day, be uh, Warden Leon, if you would. So let me... <laughs> and look, this up, set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. Do we have to bring Melly? I really don't want to bring him. He's annoying. Oh, uh. Bring Dialga with us. I want to see my Pokemon. Who do we swap out? Mm. Who do we swap out? Dragon and Steel. I we swap Gudra. It's type for type. I love that everyone just ditches you, right? It's like, alright, we're off. See you later. Meet us there. Did you get the Alolan Vulpix? No, I didn't. Oh my goodness. Hello. You trying to squish me? That was rude. Hey, stop that! Look, his head follows you. See, look. He bows his head down. Oh, hello! Okay, I'll stop messing around now and get on with the game. <laughs> oh, stupid locks are everywhere. Go away! What the? It's cute. Aww. It's a happy little Pokeball. Wish my Switch would show up sooner. Uh, ouch. Have they given you an estimate for when that's going to turn up, Travis? Because uh, I have something I want to ask you about with that. Uh huh? No. He's still waiting on you see he said I think he said it'd be a couple of weeks. Uh, February twenty seventh to twenty eighth. Oh you poor thing. Huh? Yeah, as long as it's not the thirtieth, you're fine. <laughs> oh, that's the one I want. Magic carp fish no, I think he means actual real life carp fishing room. Have I got lost and gone the wrong way? He could do both. He could do both, couldn't you? Ah, leave me alone. No, get off, you stupid creature. I may well be doing one while doing the other. 
Methinks we go this way. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, skill at mining, and the strength of my Sneedy's moves. Yes, that's really good. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you stay? Yeah, get on with it. <laughs> We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. Well, oh, not these. <laughs> No, oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Lover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? I don't have to tell you nothing. Uh, look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll have to give it to us. Good luck with that. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you are hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. That Ernest Goody Two Shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but you won't get in Leon's way. Why are three. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Palo, you take charm. Oh, a three on three battle would have been cool. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest and I <laughs> are unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime? Yeah, no. Okay, he's got some pretty good moves. Bye bye. <laughs> You're being silly. That's okay. We are we are all silly in this in this stream. It's what we do. Silly is our thing. Can you not do that, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was easy. I wonder how epic they made the animation for Roar of Time. I should try that. Come on, Clover, why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we're changing, and we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that scummy. You're as strong as ever, Palo. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating, remember? I think it was her that got the beating. It usually is. Bye. I wonder how old they are. They just seem like angsty teens. Yeah, maybe. Uh, honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's one. 
The coin I, that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she grouched as she did so. <laughs> I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that attitude. <laughs> I was able to extract some of that origin or, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it would better go with you. You obtained a piece of origin or... It was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work. It's not a snail. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, no. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Uh, let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. And ports back to. Okay. Squish me! Run away! I'm not sure I like this new Sneasel evolution. It looks... weird. <laughs> Just doesn't look as good as Weaver. No, it really does. Something's chasing me, and that something is angry. <laughs> Looks more like it could just be a variant shiny for Sneasel. Yeah. So this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the origin. Uh, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing <laughs> emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound. <laughs> uh, exactly, my girl. Now then, back to go to Jubilife Village. Why? <laughs> uh, here you are, Professor, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be? <laughs> Uh, splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all those broken bits back at the temple. Uh, you're up next, Palo. Time for uh, whatever we're calling that stone. He handed over the original. Uh, fragments of the red chain... Collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part, turn these items into a proper vessel. That's where his science stuffs are. Oh, okay. Uh, I cannot get his name. Is it Bree? 
Uh, Reen, my boy, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Can I ask you to do the honours? Uh, just wait, pal. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. Oh, right, okay. This may take us some time, but perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Wish they'd hurry it up in the Master Ball. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is to cover your own impatience. Uh, if sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because I'd be using time well. I mean, right. We've done it! It's complete. <laughs> I dub it the origin ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Apparently I beat the game! <laughs> well, it's fine, now you can go and fill your Pokedex and do all the post-game stuff. Obtained- Oh, that's cool looking. A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used Catch the frenzy Pokemon raging at the temple. It's a Master Ball. And that's what it is. It's a Master Ball. And these Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. I mean, it's not that tiny. Look at the size of it. Don't miss. Oh, pressure. <laughs> it's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Hold on, that, it's that voice I hear it in my head again. Should I shake its ball and get him to shut up? <laughs> Seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. It's certainly excellent news. Uh, the Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps, should I say, Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now. Okay. Take the origin ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Uh there is a there is a post game. Don't fluff your pitch, I promise nothing. I am a girl we can't throw, remember. <laughs> At least this one can't. I wonder if the legendaries would be flipped if you went with Arena. Yeah, I'm wondering that. Oh wait, you have that. Yeah, did you pick the Pearl Clan? And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop the Rhino. It seems a vicious battle may await you. I mean, not really. I'm just gonna throw the ball. <laughs> no, well said. Now. He can to my words? Yeah, what? I didn't know these. You went with Arena, so you got Palkia. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. Uh, time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. Uh, but you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Dialga at your side, and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Okay. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has to offer. 
She looks like... What do they call it? Is it Goth... Gothitel? That's what she is. Come home. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Yep, apparently. Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I? <laughs> no, she's got a point. Um, Alright, Palo, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. The Court de Alga here, was it released between now and the events of time? It must have been. Heading outside the village? I mean, I don't really have much choice. I went to go at the summit camp. Oh well. Uh, where is the summit camp? There. Yes. Unless time loop shenanigans are in play. Maybe. So his are always important. Please don't electrocute me. I like what they did with the echo in the caves. Like, it actually sounds like a cave would. <laughs> Just the girl I've been waiting for. Insus. I know you can buy various sundries at the base, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have a front row seat if there's a Chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Uh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Hey! Just super suspicious. Why Automod? Because it classes the words you creep as bullying. Well, that'll show it. What the? Really? Again, you're all up here waiting for me. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it wasn't friendly. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge? Um, yeah. They apparently have a bunch of Abras that they can use to just teleport. Yeah, I know. I want one. Let's meet tomorrow together. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? I'm saying we. It's a saying we've got in Diamond Clan. It means you. You hope you'll both stay safe. Okay. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes. As well. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Uh, Mallow, protect her, uh, protect her Sui and her people. Protect time and space for her.
Oh, so that's what happened to the temple. Neat. What the heck is that monstrosity? Uh, okay. What is that? Oh no, not another of these. Oh, for goodness sake. No, oh, no, my meme's gonna run between your legs. It's like Palkia combined with RC. It does actually. Ooh, that was close. I can't do both. going on i can't follow it my brain doesn't like it attempt this battle again i will continue would you like to keep yes that's why i click continue and not restart it looks like it is palkia combined with arch it does actually don't stamp on me that's rude Sent a couple of pics of the Vulpix. Okay. I'll have a look in a minute or after the stream. Oh, I. <clears throat> this is not going well. Take that! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is a tough battle. I'm not used to these kind of battles. Will you attempt this battle again? I will continue. What are we down to? Halfway? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Okay, blue beam. Jump. Throw. No. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh my god. Don't. 
Uh... No! Stop doing that! I still don't think this is annoying as the 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 last one. Was it the Avalog battle? That one was a pain. Ouch! Stop doing that. That's very rude. Was close. Oh no, it hit me. Nuts. Eat your space bomb, stupid. Why couldn't I have thrown that at the start? Yeah, Avalog was worse. Yeah, definitely. Because I think the problem with Avalog is you have such a little area to avoid what's going on. Or is that when you have like a whole arena and I'm just bad? <laughs> Yay, I fixed the weird sky. She got it. She really did, didn't she? Yes, I did. My eyes aren't lying. She actually went and caught it. Yes, good show. What did catch? Uh, you contain that fearsome thing in the origin hall. Does that mean it's mine now? Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> Just walk into town and throw them both out. Uh, thanks, you know. This is what I expect. Jake, shut up. So even the commander shares a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Sacrifice will make him soft. You're now completely stuck in history. Yay! What a sight to have witnessed. He's just kicked them both, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm sure he deserved to see my Well, at least it seems this is me. Uh, listen up, all of you. Uh, we faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the diamond. <laughs> the two clans together, huh? Uh, well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty sinner of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over whose was wrong or right are ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day, and for all those who live in the Hisui region. Get a room, you two! Yeah. 
There's one thing the story forgets. You fell from the sky from the future, so, like, your parents must be worried sick, thinking you're dead, but you're, like, chilling in the past. Yeah, I I don't get that. Like, we're supposed to be, what, 15? And it's just like, oh, you're stuck here now. Doesn't matter, your future, whatever you had planned, gone out the window, you live here now. <laughs> oh. That's it? Okay, uh, well, I guess we have to sit through these. Um, and then we'll do some... Let's see what's going on with the post-game. I know there is some post-game. So... Maybe something in the post-game does something about that. Yeah, maybe. I still think Volo is, like, super sus. <laughs> So suspicious. That's something we can do. We can go and fill the Pokedex. I know now that you get missions to catch uh, some of the legendaries. Uh, and then of course there's all the alphas and everything the obviously fill the pokedex that needs to be done um, maybe some post game DLC will do something with that eventually maybe I don't know if they're going to do DLC for this I'd like them to but I don't really know what else they can do uh, the only problem then, of course, is if they do make it so that you leave, um, you can't play the game anymore because you've left. Do you know what I mean? So, in that sense, I get why they've left it so that you stay here. Because otherwise it would just be, oh yeah, and game over, you can't do anything else. Whereas a lot of Pokemon games are like what you can do afterwards as well, isn't it? With like the trading and the catching and the, the battling and the shiny hunting and all that. How about what caused Palakira de Alga to go berserk in the first place? Yeah, that could be interesting. Uh, I know the post game we can now get all of the starters in the space-time rift thingies. I know we can do that. Uh, how many people worked on this game? Connect. <laughs> it's like the credits at the end of a Disney film. It's like longer than the film itself. Uh, I just check these pictures that you sent. Oh, where did you get the Alolan Vulpix? You have a Garchomp. Oh, you have all of the unknown as well. That's cool. That's something else we need to do. Catch all the unknowns. You're up. No, oh, he's beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. Yep, that's our final mission. Fulfill the Pokedex. The counterpart. Prepare while they make. Haven't we just done that? <laughs> there is something else that I have to check as well. Oh. Uh, morning, Molo. 
Hello! So the space-time rift is gone. I think this means that we can finally close the book on this whole mess. Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet. The <laughs> Time to get back to our official Survey Corps duty of completing. We're going to meet the Survey Corps office to discuss how we'll tackle the work that's left. Yeah, you're going to make me do it all. Nothing to discuss. <laughs> May have cheated them. There was no way I was going to just try and find those things. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> do you get anything good for finding them all? I know they appear in that little temple area and you can catch alpha versions and that, but other than that, I don't really know what else you get. Oops, I ran into the wall because I wasn't paying attention. Boo. No, there, there are like 28 of them to catch and the, the clues you get are not very obvious. Uh, so I trust you enjoyed yourself at the fest. Oh, we missed the festival. Right. That seems only natural given world. I believe last night was the first time I caught a glimpse of you making merry. Yeah. I believe you must be imagining things. There's alpha versions? Yeah, you can catch alpha version. It's rare, but you can catch them. Uh, now, Professor Mavinton to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends after all. Who knows if they are even real. Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How are we to know what's true and what's not? Couldn't help but over here. Oh, I don't know. It's Hisuian history and legends you want in him. I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of. <laughs> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Kinder Guild. <laughs> and I visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I can teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Music to my ears. Good fellow. Now, uh, listen well. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed. For the sake of the Pokedex. So, uh, we, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Uh, understood. I'll set up at the Heights camp then. I'll, I'll be expecting you. Okie dokie. The researcher of myths. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. Bad? Did you miss anything? No, literally nothing. Just a very short uh, cutscene with Volo. It wasn't even a cutscene, it was just him waffling. Uh, I am going to go and fight that Lucario. Alright, it's here somewhere. Is this a training ground? Okay, uh, hello. What was his name? Uh, no, I don't remember his name. Okay. Let's check. Uh, requests. I still have all of this to do. To the left of it? Oh, okay. Uh, this way? They're under a tree. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, fight me, please. Is 
Is this cheating? <laughs> I mean, he didn't say he wanted a fair fight, he just said he wanted a fight. <laughs> That was a wonderful battle. <laughs> One shot. Roar of time. Oh, okay. We'll go and we'll go and find something and roar of time it. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and that's helped make you stronger. Yeah. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Actually, I tell you what we'll do. Uh, fight someone here. Why is he wearing armor? He looks ridiculous. I've done this traditional Galarian armor, and I trust you know what that means. I ain't holding nothing back for this battle. Wait, he's challenging me? I challenged him! Because he's still got Clefairy. <laughs> Uh, there you go, Rumi. Wow, that was, um, yeah. Cheap. <laughs> That's basically the same thing they use for, like, um, they like hyper beam and stuff, it's just a different colour. Fighting bug or just bug? I don't remember. It's the little pink fluffy thing. Wasn't paying visual attention. It wasn't that impressive. It really wasn't. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, let's try this one again. Wow, that did nothing. That did a lot though. Oh. Uh, now you're dead. Uh, who else has a steel move? Uh, you do. That's it, just headbutt it. Snorlax. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, hello, punny.
I want a shiny one of these. I want to just. I just think it'd be so cool to have a shiny, shiny alpha one. Wouldn't headbutting with rapid eyes either make the move headbutt or horn attack? Uh, no, he just runs up and stabs him. That's how that works. Oh, my bunny. No. Kill it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go... Actually... Oh, they've already healed. Okay, let's head out and see if we can find anything interesting. What I really want is the recipe for um, star pieces. So I can start selling them and getting decent mean. <laughs> because I spent all my money. Heading outside the village, yes. Uh, apparently I have to go over here. This is great, just flying over and seeing all of them. One day I will be flying over and I will see a shiny. One day it will happen. <laughs> really? You can't go up that tiny little bit? Yeah. Leave me alone! There we go. Hello! Uh, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. Good, long, close look. Oh, I saw, I see these before. Uh, see these patterns modelled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. Uh, a tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Okay. Yes. Uh, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... <laughs> well, I've met him. He gave me my phone. Perhaps <laughs> you've heard his name already. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? But now let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied gnomes. Have you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. Uh, you read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. Okay. This original one is none other than the Pokemon, Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Palo? I think we should try to gather all the plates. I thought I had them all. Uh, and I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of the grueling grove. Okay, this could be fun. Uh, wait, how does he know about hieroglyphs? When were those translated? I mean, you can know about something without it being translated. Like, you can look at something and know, oh yes, that's a, that's a language. Without having to understand what that language says. 
Do you know what I mean? Uh, now, um, according to my own investigations, an alpha from Spin Queen, <laughs> one of those, an angry bee. Don't sting me, I'm allergic. Okay, Rumi, are you watching? We're doing the roar of time again. That is not impressive at all. You obtain the stone plate. What's the, yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them look very similar. That's why I'm saying it's it's nothing impressive. Uh, why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. Uh, in any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about. So the rest of that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry though, I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about plates. Yet the one and only Mistress Kugita, yes. You haven't had the chance to probably thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. Okay. That means I have to. Oh, let's see what's in here. Thought they put more effort into special moves of the legend. I'm sorry, what? Uh, okay then. I was not expecting that. Uh, poke. Ultra ball. Whatever you are. So as you can see, uh, a lot of the Pokemon can be alphas. <laughs> I've never knocked an alpha out of a tree before, though. The problem is, anything I have... I don't have anything to hit it with that won't kill it, so I'm just gonna have to throw balls and hope. Oh, yep, there we go. Ah, uh oh. He saw nothing. Where is he? Let's use this. And then see if we can smoke bomb. Oh, it turned around. Oh, I didn't want it to turn around. I was going for the back patch. You see nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey, look, look, a nice yummy berry. Oh, we didn't like that. Okay, fine. Get in the ball. Uh, I don't think I can hit this one either. Oh, I'm gonna stand over here. Uh, 
Apparently Samarok can learn False Swipe. I don't know if False Swipe's in this game. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't in the way of that. At this rate, it might just knock itself down to low health. It's got a lot of health, it can do some tanking. Oh. Yeah, you should do it. That's something else I want to do now that I finish with the main game. I want to do some more shiny hunting. There is a pat. There is, but as I'm saying, I don't know if false swipe is in the game because they've changed a lot of the moves. For instance, uh, stealth rock is now a damaging move, so it's not just a case of getting a move and putting it on a Pokemon. You have to make sure it works how it worked in the old games. Finally. Now I have two. Okay. Let's uh, head to wherever he wanted us to meet him. It's a worm pole. Evie. Yay, we've got another Eevee. Well, that's something we can try and do. We can try and get all the evolutions. That's going to be fun. I think I have most of the, if not all of the stones. And I think I already have a, f I want to say a Flareon. I'm not sure if I have any others. hand in and then seven and oh, of course I couldn't hand in because I wasn't allowed in the that's right yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that had me confused there for a minute Other specimens are caught, a form to have obtained. I need to give it food once more. Okay. What type is that? Dark poison. Interesting. Insufficient data. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we got enough points for the next level. Alright, 
we'll go and get our next level, and then we'll go and meet uh, Volo for the next request, and then I think I'll probably call a stream there. Hello, lady. Just trying to get Twitch to open. Yeah, rank seven. What do we get? Uh, in our rank in the Galaxy Expedition team, you can now use Giga Tumbles. All Pokemon will obey your orders reliably now. The rewards you earn will be more generous. Okay. here and then yeah let's go and see what oh there's an outbreak what up oh uh, actually let's try this I wouldn't mind a shiny, whatever that thing is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what the shiny looks like. So I'm going to save here. And then if there's not shiny, I can just read it. That is an alpha ghastly. And it looks really creepy. Let's mark this. Uh, where is it? Over here. Interesting. No shiny. Okay. Let's, in that case, go up and see uh, Volo. Oh, I know. I've gone to the wrong place. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of. That's where I was supposed to go. lady <laughs> oh lost one it's miraculous what you've done it seems the red chain served its purpose when 
uh, and you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? Uh, it's about plates. Ah yes, a tale whose origin lies a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sino people from whom I am descended across many generations. These forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. And I've heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdia. Okay. Is that all? I thought you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Diaga and Palkia with the creator. Arceus had anything concrete being passed down. Okay, that makes sense. If only we had more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Palo hid from the sky. Uh, I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help you as best as I can. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant? The Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning? Now then, what would you hear of? Let's go with the volcano to start with. Well, where could that be but fire spit metal? Wait, okay. Now then, what would you hear of? Oh, I see, we just take them all. Uh, yes, you already... Uh, them you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Now then, what would you hear of? Thanks for the spoilers, Rumi. <laughs> uh, yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Uh, make for the Coronet Islands. Hmm. Uh, secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Okay. Uh, indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to the earth? That makes sense. The Prelude Beach. Okay. What would you hear of? No, oh, that's all of them. Done with your questions, yes. Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed for your own sake and for that of the Pokedex you labour on. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kogita. Uh, that's more than enough information to work with. Uh, now, let us find those plates. Is Dark Rain the game? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. But anyway, we are gonna leave that there for today. Uh, thank you everyone who watched and hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow we will be doing our... We were doing the plates, going to find those. And for now... I am going to send you off. Uh, hopefully I've got this right. Just going to double check that spelling. Um, to plap. So, yes. Uh, join the Discord if you would like. Um, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay.